Good morning and welcome back everyone. So I've really enjoyed cooking outdoors with different types of stoves recently, but rather than the usual MREs, I thought I'd try something different. So today I'm going to try and attempt to cook toad in a hole. So I was inspired to do this whilst making Yorkshire puddings the other day, and it got me thinking as to whether they could be cooked without a traditional oven. Now I'm gonna be using a cooking pot that has a lid, and the reason for using my gas stove is that you can control the heat better. But I'm sure that if you've got nice hot coals, then you could use a firebox or a Dutch oven, that kind of thing. So I'm going to make the batter and then I'll bring you back and we can attempt to cook. Okay, welcome back. So now I'm gonna get the gas on, gonna heat some oil, and then get the sausages going. So I'm gonna cut these up into little chunks because it's quite a small pot. But I guess if you had a mess tin or something bigger, you could just leave them whole. Okay, I'm just using standard pork sausages here. Okay, so that oil's nice and hot. So in we go. Okay, let them brown off for a bit. So I've just turned the heat down on the gas and that's the beauty of cooking on gas that you can control it quite well. Um, so you wanna make sure that the oil is nice and hot um, before adding the batter. So the batter's in now um, and I've put the lid of the pot on and that will act as a kind of oven to keep the heat going around in there. Um, I've turned it down really low um, because otherwise I think it'll just be a disaster. But I reckon uh, we're gonna check it in 10 minutes, see how it's getting on. Um, I think in a normal oven, you know, it'd be sort of about 20 minutes or so um, and it'd be done. So I may even do it sooner than, than 10 minutes, but I'll bring you back. Not bad at all. So that's only been five minutes. So uh, I'm glad I checked because I reckon there's only probably another sort of five minutes max on that. So I'm in my garden today. Um, so obviously apologies for the sound of the traffic and stuff. Um, but just, you know, get outside, try something new. Um, I'm in my lunch break at the moment, so uh, perfect opportunity to uh, to do something and, and show it on my channel as well. Um, I've had a busy January so far. Um, getting out lots more, which is fantastic. Um, but I just can't believe how quickly it's going already. Um, got lots of things lined up. I've got a wild camp in a couple of weeks time. Um, with a couple of other YouTubers, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, yeah, just getting back out and, you know, just enjoying nature, reconnecting with nature and stuff. But I've got lots planned for this channel this year. Um, obviously, it's all about inspiring people to get outside more, you know, because of the benefits of, of improvements to mental health. Uh, as well as physical health as well. So there'll be lots more walking, outdoors cooking, wild camping, perhaps the odd review here and there. Uh, we've got a family um, family camping trip booked up in the summer for two weeks. Be using the uh, the Anantara that I bought last year. So it'd be a good uh, good chance to give it another a review um, later on. But yeah, really enjoyed making videos for this channel 
and uh, yeah, it just motivates me really, which is great. Right, let's see how this is getting on. Okay, so that was just under 10 minutes. It's all done. Let's give it a go. Looks okay. Hasn't stuck to the bottom. Doesn't smell disgusting. Mm. Toad in the hole. Excellent. <laughs> Brilliant. Mmm, lovely. Yeah, some gravy. Gravy would be nice. Impressed with that, pleased with that. Well, it wasn't too bad actually, it turned out better than I thought. Um, probably could have had some more batter in there, some more sausages, but I thought, you know, just as a sort of a proof of concept, just to see if it works, and it did, yeah. Impre impressed with that tasted all right too so yeah it's just maybe something to consider um if you're camping and stuff you know you don't always have to have uh you know the ready to eat meals and all of those kind of things so yeah try something new well hopefully you enjoyed this short video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time on higgsy bear outdoors bye for now